Right, so we're fitting a tubeless system. Step one, take off the old tyre. I use this tyre very well. I got my money's worth. That There's not a lot left. That's an off-road off tyre. There's the old tube. It will be interesting to see if... Because tubes do rust over time. I want to see if this tubeless system rusts over time. It'd be quite interesting to see if that actually does. Do we need to keep, you know, taking out, cleaning it and stuff to stop it from rusting? Uh, step one, though, is... So that's the rim lock hole. Uh, that's the... For the low pressure, and that's the high pressure, or one of the two. Either way, I need to drill this out. Okay, not that difficult. Now I've just got to clean up all of this mess. Get it as clean as possible, which is going to take a very long time, because this has been... This tire is, this rim is quite old, so I need to clean this all the inside, make it nice and clean. Now it's all clean. You get to buy this rim tape. It needs to go three wraps round. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Rim tape's on. So far, so easy. This is where it's gonna get trippy, trick, tricky, and it works worse on these sort of tires, on these sort of rims. Sorry, because these are. Japanese rims and KTM rims have a hole like here and here and Honda seem to have their hole here and here just to make it a bit more tricky to line up it's not easy it took that much window lean from the top to put on so it's quite a bit I've just pumped it up so I haven't damaged it and it's holding so let the air out and on stays put the tire on now Right, that was a bit trickier to get on. Uh, so, they give you this tool, and I sat on the tyre, like they do in the video, and I put it on. It's quite difficult. I'm just going to spoon this on like a normal tyre. Put that tube inside with a tube. It's, especially with hiding our tyres, maybe you'll find it easier, but because it kept on going on the rim this side, and I had to keep having to spoon it off the rim to get that last little lip over here and I really scratched up my paint work. But, this is a rim that I painted, when did I paint this? I can't remember when I painted this, 20 year, at least a couple of years plus. And considering I've, I've looked after the bike, well not really looked after the bike, that's actually come off all right and all this scratches is from probably today actually. <laughs> and some of off, some off-roading incidences, but it's all right really. I can live with a few scratches on a bike that's got a million more. Right, now, here's the worrying bit. Pump it up and see if it holds. Actually, I've actually sprayed the entire, inside the entire rim with window lean. And I need probably both hands to pump this up. If I put this here, maybe you can see what was coming up over here. Eighty psi. Coming up to one hundred. Okay, hundred psi. So, there should be a seal inside now, so I should be able to pump this up. I've just pumped it up to a 40 psi and it's holding. I'll let some air out. Lay down to 30 and see if it stays. I can hear something, I'm not sure if that's. So, I'm going to leave it. I'll go spray some water around it, see if I can see any bubbles coming out or anything like that. See if any, yeah, anything starts bubbling or anything, but I think it's holding. I'm going to leave it for a bit and check it, see if it goes down a bit. Um, if it goes down, I think I have to release all the pressure out. Put some more spray inside and see if I can get it on, but it looks like it's on. Okay, so I left the tyre up overnight and it hasn't gone down. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll whack it on the bike. So we've got one. Two valves, yes that is correct. And 
that was quite hard to install. If you don't do tyres regularly or change inner tubes regularly, I don't know if you should do it. I think you should get someone else to do it. But if you know how to change a tyre, it's very similar to that, just a bit harder. <laughs> just a bit harder. And then if you want an extra level of difficulty, try to get the sucker on without scratching your rim. Put some rim protectors in there. Impossible. I couldn't do it. I gave up in the end and just scratched the hell out of mine, but I don't really care. It's my bike. If I was doing it with someone else's, yeah, I'd feel really guilty. So, yeah, I, I scratched it up good and proper in some places, but some of this is due to off-roading. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's on. It's really hard to do. Ish. If you've got, if you know, like I say, it's, if you've got the knack, you can do it. But, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to leave them on now, and I'll probably post an update about these later on and tell you how I get on with these <sighs> but I tell you when it comes to changing the tyre again I'm just going to cut that tyre off I'm not going to not going to try levering it off I'm just going to air down the middle tyre and very carefully use a Dremel and just cut away the tyre because I don't even want to try to get that off and break the bead like that again because that is going to be proper tough to get it off anyway I haven't done a proper video I'll link down below on if you want to see it, how you install these and stuff because like I said I've only this is the first time I've ever done it I'm gonna leave the front for now because you have to do it with a new front tire so this tire has got loads of tread left so I'm not gonna bother doing it maybe I'll do it when the tread runs out anyway that's it thanks for watching <laughs>